right, today I thought we'd do a fun cake for those of you that like Chinese food. What we're gonna do is a fortune cookie and a little takeout container and little Chinaman sitting in front of that. So we're gonna start with eight inch round cakes. I've got two eight inch round cakes here. And I just have a piece of parchment because uh, I wanna flip one of these over and I just don't want it to stick to the counter. I'm gonna go ahead and tear this off here. And since it has, you know, if you have a little bit of dome on a cake like this, um, you can actually use that to your benefit on a cake like this because we are going to be carving it down and stuff. So I'm going to put like the domes um, on, more on the top and the flat part here in the middle. And I'm just going to keep um, keep this without buttercream in between just in case I want to put a support board in there. I, I kind of have to wait and see how much I carve it down first. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, we've got them just kind of stacked together. So keep in mind that that's loose and you have to kind of hold on to it. And um, what first we do is we'll, we're going to cut out that little, uh, almost like a pie kind of a section. So let me, it's better to cut a little bit out <laughs> at a time. So just make a little, like I said, it looks like almost like a pie that you're cutting out. And I went a little further past the center. The center is probably a little more here and they usually go a little bit further past it. So let me just cut straight down. And it's always good to have a fortune cookie <laughs> around, but this one is broken. Okay, so here is the cookie <laughs> glued back together. So I think I'm just going to have a little bit more of an opening than most of these do, just because I think it's going to look better. Okay, you get the idea? Whoops. What a mess. Well, I can make that. We're going to make it just like that. We're going to go ahead <laughs> and cut it up. All right, so I've cut out my V-shape here and <laughs> take this piece out. Ooh, and then we can save that for a little slice of cake, huh? All right, now what we want to do is we want to carve um, down to the out. To This is going to be the middle, so I don't want to carve like down past that. I want to kind of carve from here. Actually, first I'm just going to kind of take some of this edge off. Again, I like to do it gradually rather than taking too much at once. Okay. Now I need the front to actually slope down. So I'm going to take from about here and actually cut down. Like that. Round this a little more. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, the bottom piece of the cake, and I'm going to cut in at an angle. The coolest thing is that they usually have this ridge in here anyway, so that's going to sh uh, show up really well after I cover it with fondant. Now, if this were a bigger cake, bigger than 8 inch, then what I would probably do is put a support board here in the middle to hold some of this weight, but this one should be fine in a little bit here too, a little bit there. Okay, so I think there we have it. Let me just actually trim this a little bit nicer. Okay, excellent. All right, so what I need to do here is just place it on a board. Let me just pop it on this board here. And then I'm going to go ahead and ice this and then pop it in the uh, refrigerator while I carve the takeout box. 